Okay, moving on here to a trip that I took to um, Walmart a little while back. I was at Walmart and I was actually looking for a hair dye, but they didn't have any color that I was liking. I was looking for one of those natural instincts and then that's when I decided to go to Target to look and I found that. But of course I had to wander into the beauty section and I found two um, kind of new products that I haven't seen. The first one here is this hard candy. Um, they're called the Contouring Face Trios and this shade here is in three times a lady. This is what I am wearing today on my cheeks as well as my bronze and my highlighter. and. I love these. I seriously cannot get enough of these. I am so excited to go and maybe try to pick up more because they do have different shades. This one is sort of like the corally shade and to be honest I don't have tons of really warm corally blushes which is why I decided to pick this one up. And what I love about this is that you have a beautiful really really shimmery super reflective think like Becca kind of highlighters. That's what this reminds me of. You have a sort of satin finished blush. It definitely has a little bit of a glow to it but the shimmer in it is so fine that it doesn't show up as shimmer or sparkle on your cheeks. It looks like, you know, you're glowing from within. And then you have a matte bronzer. So to me, it's like the perfect combination because you want a shimmery highlighter. I think that while I do prefer matte blushes, I do like a slight satin finish. I think that that is like my favorite type of a um, finish to a blush. And then you have a matte bronzer. I seriously think that they were just genius at putting this together. I'm glad that it's not all super shimmery. I'm glad that it's not all matte. I think that the finishes are just perfect. The texture is awesome. The pigmentation is out of this world. Um, I did swatches on my Instagram and I'm just so, so, so happy with this. Like I cannot recommend this to you enough. I also really like the packaging. I think that it feels good and it looks kind of cute. And then um, I was looking at the Rimmel section because for some reason Walmart seems to carry a lot of the Rimmel line. And I found these um, new Color Rush, what are these? Long Lasting Intense Color Balm. They're kind of like balm stains basically. These have been kind of the craze recently. And um, I've heard that Rimmel has came out with them. I know that they were in the UK for a while they're just starting to make their way over here and oh my lord I want the entire range these are by far my favorite balm stains that I have ever tried they beat out the Revlon ones they beat out I'm trying to think of like other ones that I've tried I don't know I'm like drawing a blank but I have tried some others and these are by far my favorites the colors that I got are um, all you need is pink, which is kind of like this really pretty strawberry color. And then um, my favorite here, this is just a nice neutral color, is not an illusion. This is such a pretty kind of like brownie coral. I think it'll look awesome in the summer when I have more of a tan. But it just looks so pretty. And these things stay on your lips and they stain so well. And they don't stain awkwardly. Um, I find that the stain that it leaves behind is really pretty. It's really flattering. I've worn these and I have eaten, I have drank, I have done like so many different activities, you know, talked, carried out my entire day just wearing these and I haven't had to touch up for, you know, another like five or six hours, which I think is awesome. So I am super, super impressed with these. They're really cheap. I think they're only about four bucks. So I'd really recommend them. You also have a beautiful, beautiful shade selection. Okay, moving on here to a final Ulta trip that I took. I went to go pick up a refill of my Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner because I ran out of it. I went to Ulta and they didn't have it. They didn't have the black shade. I was so disappointed and so heartbroken because I literally have ran out of my Jane liner and I was needing a new black liner. That one's my favorite. It's my go-to. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So I had this little like crisis in the middle of Ulta. And so I just kind of wandered over to the high-end section of Ulta thinking that maybe, you know, I'd splurge and try to see if, um, you know, I prefer a high-end liner to the Jane one or if I feel like the Jane one is just as good. And I found this set from Cargo that was on sale and this was the Let's Meet in Paris set. And it came with these products here and it was such a good deal. First of all, the box was on clearance for 18 bucks. I think originally it was 36 and what I thought was such a good deal about this set is that you got three full-size items and then you got two kind of little travel mini size items. So the full-size items that you got were a black liner so this was sort of what um, you know pushed me to buy it is the fact that I could try out a higher end liner and just kind of get it for cheap and then get all these other things you know as a bonus. So this is the um, Cargo Swimmables liner in the shade Black Sea. I'm wearing it today on my upper lash line. I'm wearing a blue on my lower today but um, anyway it came with that liner it came with this mascara called the um, Texas Slash Mascara, which I've actually been really liking. I don't know if it's like my favorite mascara, but I have been enjoying it, and like I said, full size. And then it came with this beautiful lipstick. This is in the shade Paris, which I think is perfect. You guys know that I am like obsessed with anything that has to do with like the Paris theme. And this is a beautiful deep red shade. It is just stunning. I put it on just to kind of try it, and it just looks so good. I did swatches of it. Again, this set is all on my Instagram, and
and I am just obsessed with this color. So I was really, really happy that you got three full-size items, and then it came with these two kind of minis, which I still feel are good size. Um, you got this lip liner. This is called the Reverse Lip Liner. It's supposed to be the only lip liner formulated to wear with lip gloss, uh, whatever. I mean, you could wear any lip liner with lip gloss, but it's basically just like a plain kind of nudie liner that you can use to outline the edge of your lips and just, again, like what a lip liner is supposed to do, keep it from feathering, keep it from going outside the lines. And it's just supposed to be something that, you know, kind of matches your skin tone a little bit. It's not super pigmented. It kind of goes on more clear, to be honest. Right, put it, you know, right around your lips and just keeps everything from moving out. And then it came with um, this product here, which I was really interested by, and this is the HD Picture Perfect Lip Primer. And I thought this was really interesting because it's kind of, uh, it kind of looks like an eye primer, to be honest. You kind of have like this doe foot applicator, but it's kind of like this really um, nice conditioning, slightly kind of slick feeling balm almost that you can put on your lips, put on your lip color on top of that, and it's just supposed to help, um, you know, the longevity. It's supposed to help the lip color grow in a lot more smooth and a lot more even. I feel like it does all those things, and I love how hydrating it is to my lips. So I was completely blown away by that set. And like I said, the box said it was 18 bucks, but when I took it to the register, it actually only came up for $9. So that was like an even better deal. So I was like super, super happy with that. And on top of that, I needed a new face scrub because I ran out of my Clearasil one. So I picked up this Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub Fix. And I have just been absolutely loving this as well. Yeah. Salicylic acid as well as the glycolic acid. So it's meant to kind of brighten your skin and it's just meant to, you know, remove the dead skin cells and just help to renew your skin. And I'm just so, so happy with this. It smells really nice kind of has like a slight citrusy scent and in the shower it just really wakes you up and I just I love this it's kind of like my new favorite face scrub so Anyway, when that set rang up as $9, I sort of had this idea and I was like, huh, that kind of seems weird. And so I called um, Ulta and I was like, are you guys having like a sale on cargo products? And they're like, yeah, you know, everything is actually half off. So I kind of was like, whoa, 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 wait, what? Because there was no signs, there was nothing, no ads or anything that's been advertised as having cargo, you know, 50% off. So I kind of freaked out a little bit. Um, I also got a 20% off coupon through my email. It was applicable to sale items. So I was thinking, oh, perfect. I'm going to get cargo products for 70% off. So I like raced to my Ulta and then this is when I did a little bit more damage. So I didn't go too crazy because I'm trying to get myself onto a like makeup no buy in a sense because I am having such a hard time using up products and it's just becoming a little bit wasteful and I feel like I just keep on picking up new stuff and I just am not using some of my older stuff. So I only picked up three things. Um, I could, would have picked up the whole line if I could but you know still cargo is a very expensive brand so even when you're getting it 50% off and then you're getting it at 20% off it still is a little bit pricey and it's easy to go overboard so one so, of the things I picked up was this cargo foundation it's literally foundation in a bag and it's their oil free foundation and I'm wearing it today and I just love this this is quickly becoming my new favorite foundation I love the finish it is pretty much matte um, but it doesn't look like a dead matte it just looks like your skin without adding any extra shine so I think that oily skin people would really like this if you have really dry skin maybe not so much much. I mean, it is like an oil-free foundation, so, so I think, think it's a little bit more targeted towards oily skin, although it does say that it's an emollient yet oil-free formula that's perfect for all skin types. But I just love this. I got this in the shade F20. It matches me perfectly, and I am just blown away. The coverage is so nice. The finish is just perfect, and I just, uh, I just love the way it feels on the skin. It blends like a dream. It feels so lightweight, and it smells really good, too. It's not like overly fragrance, but just has like a fresh scent about it. It. I'm just in love absolutely in love and I cannot recommend this enough the packaging's a little bit weird saying that it's like literally in a bag and it's got this weird kind of like screw top I don't know it kind of looks like you know when you go to like give blood like the blood donation bags for some reason this is what that reminds me of so a little bit strange but the product inside is wonderful and I'm just so happy with this and then I've been noticing that I am almost running out of a lot of my eye primers so I saw that they had an eye primer and it's the picture perfect this is from the whole HD line um, eyeshadow primer and again this is just just such an amazing product. It is a little bit thicker than some of my eye primers and I find that the texture it leaves your um, eyelid, I guess, with is really cool. It's a very, very smoothing product. It almost feels like, um, you know, like those silicone kind of based primers when you put them on your skin, you know, ones that kind of feel in pores, think like Benefits Professional, that kind of a feeling. It almost kind of feels like that on your eyes. So it really allows your shadows to just blend and buff beautifully on top of it. Keeps them crease proof and 
increases the vibrancy. I am just so impressed and you get a pretty good amount in this thing. The one thing that I think is kind of weird though is it takes forever to like unscrew this lid. Like I don't know why that takes so long. I don't feel like you should have to like twist it around so many times, but it doesn't really matter. It's an amazing product and I'm just so happy with it and it is clear. So no matter what skin tone you are, you will be able to use and it. And then uh, finally I got this um, Cargo Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Rio. This is what I'm wearing right now. So it kind of looks a little bit intimidating than Tube, but it's a lip gloss so it definitely shares out. It's this beautiful corally shade. It's just really pretty. Um, I think that as like a quick throw on your lips, don't really think about it kind of color, it's really nice. It's warm. Um, it feels good on the lips. It's not sticky, but yet it has a little bit of like a I don't know, it's got good texture to it. It's not like so oily that it just feels like it's gonna, you know, like just slide off your lips and as soon as you go to drink or eat, it's gonna be gone. It's got a little bit of a hold to it, but it's not sticky, so I absolutely love it. And um, the longevity on it seems to be pretty nice. I've had this on now for two hours. I still feel like it looks shiny. I still feel like the color's there. It's just beautiful. And this was only $14 originally, so it was on sale for seven, and then like I said, it got the 20% off. So for the whole like, you know, five bucks or whatever I paid for this, I am like super, super stoked and I'm really, really happy because it's so pretty. And then finally, as my last product, I promise, I'm not going to touch on this too much, but the Urban Decay Electric Palette I picked up, I just thought I'd show you guys it. Um, in case you haven't seen my review or my tutorials, definitely go check that out. It's on my channel up right now. I've done a tutorial, and then I did like a first impressions review. Um, such a pretty palette. Uh, you know, it's got all the bright colors in it. Definitely just a stunner of a palette. I've like kind of nicknamed it the palette to rule them all. It is just so pretty. So that was kind of like the last thing that I picked up from Sephora because they they had that 15% off coupon, um, you know, for like the VIBs and the VIB Rouge members. So anyway, that is all. This has been way too long. I do apologize. Uh, maybe I'll have to split this with like two parts. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.